Hi, I'm Essie. And I'm Elle. Welcome back to Magic and Mayhem. Muffin button. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> okay, so we are talking about the five book support group. Woo! We're gonna fun with Steph Loves, who we're gonna leave linked down below because if you're not following Steph, you should be. Mm -hmm. Although I'm glad you said the title because all I can ever think of is the duck. It's the little sign is shaped like a duck. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed that. <laughs> it is. It's shaped like a duck foot. I don't think I've ever noticed that it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah. It's a duck foot. I think foot. it's supposed to be a shield, but it looks it's like, a duck foot. It looks like a duck foot. Okay, it's there. <laughs> Steph is going to be like, that is not what I meant for to be. <laughs> Steph doesn't listen to our videos, we're fine. But, so Steph does the fun book support group. I believe she does them every other month or so. I'm not sure how often, I'll this be honest. This is round 13, that's all I remember. Yeah, but I don't have any idea how many years it's been going. It's been going for a while. Anyway, periodically she does fun book support group, which is like a readathon to help you read through your series because... A lot of people have trouble reading through series, myself included. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sometimes, even if you really love it, you'll just be like, that was great. I'm not reading the next one yet. And it just sits on your shelf for a really long time. I have I have two settings on that. It's either, um, I love the first book. I'm like, yes. And I immediately pick up the next one. And you like, or, blast through the whole series. Yes, and like, I'm done with the series in like two days. Or, I'm like, I love that. I'm definitely continuing six months later. Has that read a thing? <laughs> yep. I'm definitely more the six months later one. Or I just don't start a series, which is another problem. But anyway. You so do now. you do have that issue as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. It comes up and it's like, it's a series. You're like, well, bye. Bye, <laughs> I'm not going to read it now. Carry on, though. Doesn't matter. So, we have said we're going to do the read-a-thon because it is fun. So, there is a little bingo board thing. We will put it, I, I'll put it up here on the screen. The bingo board. Beautiful bingo board. So, obviously, you're just trying to get a bingo. You only need one, just three o'clock. It's supposed to be really easy. That's the whole point. It's just to help you read. Okay, so for the ones that I actually read... Well, okay, we'll start with one I DNF'd. I'm still counting it because I'm not picking this back up. It is a hard DNF, but I'm still counting it, which was for a TBR vet, which is the Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry. Unfortunately, I hated it. <laughs> it wasn't even, I hated the writing style, and so I DNF'd pretty early in because I just, I, I'm sure it works for a lot of people, and I'm very happy for them, but it did not work for me at all. I and, recall the complaints. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really tried though, but um, this it just wasn't for me. Turns out it was a TBR vet for a reason, and um, so I did DNF that, but I still counted it because it's a hard DNF, and I'm not going back. So I also did TBR vet. Yeah. Mine was not ruthlessly, so mine was <laughs> allied. This yeah. one, uh, I did not. I also did not DNF this one. Um, how it, this one is the last in the series. Woo! Uh, yeah, it's it's woo. <laughs> well, woo, that's the last in the series. You finished the series. Yes, I did finish the series, and okay. I owned the full series, and now I'm getting rid of the full series. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't that good, though. It, um, it's not, it's not that it wasn't good. It was fine. I, it just went, the third book went exactly where I didn't want it to go. Ah. Like, yeah. precisely where, I in book two, that's why I quit reading for a while. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, ooh, that looks like it's going to go where oh, I, don't yeah, I don't want, want it, it to. And it, it, it did. It exactly went where I thought it was going to go. And so, oh, goodbye, series. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. But you read to it. You. Exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, that was not intended to be beautiful, but also you better edit that out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but you finished it, and that's the important thing. I did finish it. 
Okay, so next. Oh, take part in a sprint. We both did this. Yay. Woo! We have photo evidence. We did yes, as both. proof. <laughs> Although it was really hard for me to catch a sprint because um, Steph is over in the UK. And so the sprint started at like 6 a.m. I'm like, Steph, I love you. I'm not going to be up at 6 a.m. It ain't happening. Yes. So I had to catch like the latter part of one of the sprints. A sprint was had. It was. They were very fun. Very mm -hmm. chill, which mm -hmm. is nice. Yeah. The chill ones. Well, it's always fun if it's chill or if there's lots of drama in it. Yeah. One like, or the other. You know, either way, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> either <laughs> one is fine. At least when I was at, it was chill. So I know book. Okay, so I asked, thank you, because I was like, first I was like, what book did I read? Um, so I did actually ask Steph this on her announcement video, so I got clarification. The final book could count for if it's the final book that's currently out in a series, like if the next one's not out yet. So um, for this one, I read What to Suspect When You're Suspecting. Is that, did I get that right? Okay, awesome. Go me. Um, Yay, <laughs> applause, applause, applause. I get it wrong all the time. Um, Do the princess wave, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we're ADHD and hard today. Um, I did warn you <laughs> that my brain is like, oh. all. you're like, oh, let's record. I was like, oh, take your life in your own hands. That's Dick. okay. <laughs> we're, I'm, I'm okay with taking my life in my hands today. Aren't you always? Pretty much. Yes, yeah, so that was my final book because it is... It is a trilogy, but the second book actually, uh, technically, it's not even out yet. The second book comes out in like a week. Um, but so it probably will be out by the time you're hearing this. But, um, so I did read that for the final book. Was that an arc? Yes, I had an E-arc. Yeah, I thought one. so. Um, so I read my arc, and it was good. I liked it less than the first one, but it was still good. So and I also did final book, and mine was... Court of Wanderers. That so you finished two series. I know this I'm so one. Impressed. Um, this one I will not be bending forward to someone else. You're keeping I it. I liked it. this one. <laughs> I was like, I'm confused with what you're saying. I get it. You're keeping this one. Yeah, got it. This 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 going to stay. So it means you enjoyed the duology then. I did enjoy the. I know duology. you liked the first one. I did like the first one, and I like the second one. I think I like the first one slightly more still, yeah. but regardless, regardless, I did enjoy it quite a lot. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what my star review would be at this moment, eh. but eh, you know. I don't remember. Okay, so the next one is graphic novel, manga, novella, all those situations in one. So I read the. It's the Legend of Zelda, the Legendary Edition Ocarina of Time, which is book one. Which I realized I started a series, but whatever. It just, it didn't say I couldn't start a series. In fairness, actually, I've already read book three. They're not really in order. I mean, they're kind of in order. You can kind of read in whatever order you want. Anyway, I have already read the third one, the Majora's Mask and Link to the Past. So I read Ocarina of Time, it was very cute. It was technically two and one because after a time they broke up into two parts initially. Um, and it was really cute and it was really good. Ocarina of Time is my favorite. It's my favorite game. It's my favorite like story from Legend of Zelda. It was really good. I had a great time. I think that was the first one I read too. I was uh, like, maybe. Yay, monk. <laughs> yeah. And then I was going to do a graphic novel, manga, novella. I didn't. <laughs> that I did. I feel like it was kind of cheating and I did the easy route. That was my like backup plan. If I hadn't done the diagonal bingo, I was gonna do the horizontal one. Yeah. It In was easier. Yeah. Instead I did continuation station and for that I did flash fire. Um oh. which was fun. I liked it. Again, slightly less than the first one. It's hard for a second book to live up to a first book. Yeah, I do. It just kind of is. It kind of is. But I still like it. They're really funny. They're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TJ Clover. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And, like, I relate to the main character since the main character has hella ADHD. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. So I'm like, hi. Really? I understand you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also did Continuation Station. Woo. So I read The Vacation, which is the third one? Uh, why do you look at me? I have zero percent. <laughs> it's one of the ones that's not the first one in the series. <laughs> I don't remember which number it is. It's a longer series. Anyway, um, called the vacation. It was a poly romance. It was very cute. I mean, it was kind of short. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer and stuff. But it was very cute. It was very sweet. It was a very easy read. So, uh, not what really I was expecting going in. But, I don't know, I had a good time. There was very, it was very, very, very low angst. Like, everything worked out very easily. Nice. But, you know. And then my last one was Special Edition. And I did God Killer. I think it's a Luma Crate. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I know it's the first one in a series. But regardless, it was a series I'd been meaning to get to. Yeah. And that was all the prompt said was, special edition so yeah, I, I went with it and because that was also on my 24 and 24 <laughs> that's true so you're so like double whammy i was like ha 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 and there you go i did it i yeah. liked it um i haven't read the next but i did get to the first one and that was um all that this prompt required me to do and so I have filled the prompt. <laughs> Actually, we both got two bingos. Woo! Look at us go. So, ta-da! We got different bingos, but we still both got bingos. Ta-da! I actually got the two bingos I planned. Never thought that would happen. Different books, but the ones I planned. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily what I had planned originally, but, you know, it worked. It worked. Yay! Bingos. Bingos occurred. We won. <laughs> we won. That was Final Book Support Group. If she does another one this year, which she probably will, I'll probably end up joining that one as well because I have more. I thought of a series that I should have read for it after oh, the yeah. fact. I was like, oh, I should have read those. <laughs> but I didn't. So if she does it again, I'll probably do it again. I don't know if we'll do another episode over it. but Although, also, our next readathon will be the Clinature Readathon. It is the I think it's next week. Oh dear, that's quick. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So it'd be. I think it's next week. Um, is the clinic. It was a happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday to me. That it's not on my birthday, but leading up to my birthday. So woo. The clinic marathon is also Steph loves. So the links there will be all the links down below for Steph. Um, where it's reading romance books for a week and. Elle is very kindly joining me because romance subplots do count. So, we don't have to read directly romance if we don't want to. We just read something that has a romance plot in it somewhere. So, we're going to be probably doing that. There's another bingo board for that. I'm trying to remember to insert it here. Editing me. Do your job. But, (laughs) editing me gets lazy. But, so we're going to be doing that as well. Okay, well, I don't actually have any plans at all for it yet, so that was why when you said it was like, I don't think I put soon, it in our schedule either. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll need to work on that. <laughs> I'll need to make a plan. I don't have a solid plan. I have like a rough plan. I just my plan is just collecting all the romance books I want to read and then just winging it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably make a plan for it. Otherwise, I won't do it. Uh, no. <laughs> So that's coming up. I don't think we have the. I don't think we have it on our schedule for episodes, but we'll make an episode anyway. It'll be fine. It's fine. We can move things. I think this is the last readathon I know of at the moment, for a little while. Yeah. Still, I'm sure there'll be more popping up. Oh yeah. Uh, there always. There's is. always more. <laughs> there always is, which is good because it gets gets us to read and it gets us on a theme and i'm not gonna lie i'm so excited to read romance for a week yeah i know you are <laughs> i'll actually get to that week and my brain's like no no romance don't want it and it'll like, be like completely flip it it'll be like no suspense only and i'll be like you're right 
I want violence. I always want violence. How long you been butchering Blackbird? I was like... literally thinking. I was like, oh, are, are we I'm going? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to. I don't think you'll like it. But uh, who knows? It would but be entertaining. You'll like the death though. part, which is also my favorite part. Which, yes. again, don't know what that says about me. But the death was my favorite part. But, eh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> but, yeah. So, our next readathon is Clitterature. Yep. And, I guess, we'll catch you on that readathon. Or before. Or before. Thanks for listening to Magic and Mayhem. All right. Bye.